three squats while staying on my toes. I'm going to repeat that three times. Working out in my backyard today uh, felt like using the equipment that I have. Also wanted to do like heavier squats and stuff. And whenever I go to the park, since I'm kind of limited as to how much stuff I can carry, I never really get to go too hard on legs in any case uh, not doing the sled for a while might actually be a good thing in the sense that I do it a lot and maybe it's nice for my legs to take a break from it I don't know maybe that's just uh, something I'm saying to cope with not going to the gym for a while but i much rather work out outside when the weather is nice there is i don't know more like i end up spending more time at the gym than outside in a year so it's probably best that I take advantage of the weather while the weather is so nice. Uh, for warming up uh, today, for today's workout, I'm just doing single arm steel mace 360s to alternate kettlebell swings. Today I went on a four mile run which is around uh, 6.4k I think. Um, uh, I want to run a little bit more before the summer is over. It's harder to get myself to run. Um, when the weather is bad although I usually try to challenge myself at least a little bit to do a few runs over the winter when the weather is cold uh, this year I, or this winter I also want to uh, try doing some weight training workouts when it's really cold outside maybe not all the time but at least some of the time uh, but what was I talking about earlier? Uh, oh yeah, something about not doing the sled for a while. Honestly, I think it's good to do the sled as often as possible, or sled-like movements. I think it's the best exercise, even more so than squats, doing backwards and forwards sled for legs. because it's safe and you don't feel super taxed after doing it not as much as when you do squats uh, you're able to put a lot more weight on the sled and even do it on multiple days back to back and so by the end of the day you're able to accrue a lot of volume on the legs with the sled but uh, uh, yeah, definitely haven't done it in, I guess, the past week, or maybe slightly more. It is what it is.
another reason for running or why I want to run more is what I notice is when I don't run and even so it's like I might sprint but if I don't do long distance runs the way my body looks is different than uh, if I didn't do too many runs and I like my look better when I do longer runs or at least longer runs every like couple of times in a week uh, it feels like it gives me more of a tighter look and uh, just in observing my physique uh, over the past couple of videos at the park it feels like I'm starting to have kind of like a a bloated-ish look and I think the way to rectify that is by doing long distance uh, cardio and at least for me um, uh, running seems to fix uh, the bloatedness and that kind of loose look that I feel like I have Ah. with the single arm 360s I'm trying to just be fluid and just get my shoulders and lats engaged for the rest of the workout and then with the kettlebell swings I'm also getting some blood into the legs and getting my heart rate high sufficiently to kind of feel prepared for the rest of the workout It's 7 o'clock p.m. and I haven't eaten a meal yet. Uh, I've had some snacks in the form of uh, uh, cashews, raw cashews, uh, some uh, whole milk and tea. Um, but yeah, that's pretty... and I also had... Uh, one sugar-free monster um, before working out so yeah uh, no particular reason for not eating a meal except that I was really busy at work and I was able to get some stuff that's been lingering done but there's still quite a bit left so over the next couple of days my focus, at least in work, is to get all of that off my plate. And yeah, in any case, this is what I'm doing to warm up. Uh, let's move into whatever's next. So, using a kettlebell on the landmine to add weight to it, uh, so I think the tire individually is about. 30 pounds or something and uh, the kettlebell is 25 so I'm going to do overhead uh, landmine squats <laughs> I'm gonna go for five each side Staying on my toes the whole way through.
the reason uh, that I've been doing overhead landmine squats specifically in the backyard is because it's like one of the more difficult variations of a landmine squat and since I don't have enough weight to kind of just load the legs I'm trying to make the movement more difficult by adding the stability components to it so that the movement still feels uh, taxing and then supersetting that with uh, staggered kettlebell deadlifts so going for eight each side Yeah, so if you don't have like enough weight at any place while working out, things you can do to make an exercise feel uh, like adequately challenging, uh, even without a lot of weight, is to either, uh, if it's like a two-handed movement, try to do a unilateral version of it try to do more reps of it, try to do it slower, um, uh, or add a stability component to it. Like in this case, I was doing the overhead. Uh, this, uh, with the deadlifts, it was, uh, I, I made it unilateral. And also, by the end of it, I did 16 reps. So kind of a mixture of both. So yeah, I'm gonna do this for I don't know four sets and four to five and then on to something else for the next set of things doing a steel mace complex and not super setting it with anything I'm going to use the 25 pound uh, steel mace too so starting off with uh, steel mace 360 into a shoulder rest and three squats while staying on my toes. I'm going to repeat that three times. On the third rep, or on the third, yeah, third rep, I'm gonna do three curl to presses. And on the third rep of this, I'm going to use that to transition into the left side. And do three of, and then just repeat on the other side. gonna do like four to five sets of this and yeah might just move straight into juggling since I went on a run today and uh, yeah uh, don't really feel like doing much else I don't know yet let me finish this and let's see what happens next
Uh, not going to juggle too much today. Just doing a little bit to top off the calories burnt. And might go for a short walk after this. Um, yeah. I think I'm doing a little too much juggling over the past couple of days, but it is what it is. A short session won't do much. Not bad to start. But yeah, not gonna do this for very much longer. As I said, haven't eaten much. And I don't know, there's something about running that kills the appetite a little too. So, yeah. And my thing is, like unless you're actively trying to gain weight or anything if your body doesn't feel like eating don't try to overfeed it um, yeah try to like if you don't feel like eating too much I don't know there's something to be said for uh, gluttony and I'm definitely guilty of it sometimes but more often than not, if I don't feel like eating, I just kind of try to listen to it and not try to like eat despite the fact. Ah, whatever. That was pretty good. All right, last sequence before we're done for the day. Ah, whatever. That's it for today. Don't even feel like ending on a good one or anything. So yeah, uh, gonna go home, video edit, watch Berserk, and yeah, that'll be another day. That's all for today's video. See y'all tomorrow.